Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive for free using a tool called Disk Master Free. So they have a pay for version if you want to check that one out. But this will let you make a copy of your Windows drive to another disk. So let's say your drive is failing and you want to clone it over to a new one before it fails, or maybe even move everything over to a larger disk or to an SSD drive if you want something faster, you could use this tool to do so. All right, so let's look at our disk structure so far. If we type in disk management and then look for this create and format hard disk partitions. So you can see we have our C drive here. It's a 70 gig drive. And then we have this 100 gig drive, which has not been configured, it's just unallocated space. So you don't have to format it and give it a drive letter first. You could just stick it in the computer. And as long as Windows recognizes it as a physical drive, then you could use it. Okay, let's open up the software. All right, so you want to go over to Tools and Utilities, then go to Disk Partition Clone. Okay, so select a partition or disk that you wish to clone. So you want to pick the source. So you need to click on the actual disk itself, not the partition, because as you can see, it just picks individual partitions. So you need to click on the disk itself to select everything. And you can see you have sector by sector clone as well, if you want to do that. And then destination, the 100 gig disk. So click on next. So it gives you a summary here. Here's the source disk, destination. So as you can see, this drive is bigger, but it's still going to use only the 70 gigs because that's all it knows about up here but you can actually expand it. So if you take this last guy here and move it over, then you should be able to drag this to use up the available free space. Assuming you want to, you can always just leave it as is and then make an extra partition with the standalone leftover space if you want to do that. And then if you're using an SSD drive, you could click on the box here to optimize for SSD. Okay, we'll click on proceed. So it says the data on the destination disk will be lost, so make sure there's nothing on it you want to keep. Then you have some options here to shut down the computer when it's done, or ignore bad sectors on the source disk. Alright, so we'll pause the video and then be back when this is finished. Okay, so the process has completed and it automatically opens up File Explorer. So let's take a look at the disk again. All right, so here's our original 70 gig, here's our new 100 gig, and you can see here the C drive, 70 gigs, and the E drive, 100 gigs, and this will be the C drive once we make this the primary drive. Okay, so now I'm going to shut this down here, and I'm going to take out the 70 gig drive so that only the 100 gig drive is in place. All right, so far so good, loading Windows. All right, so here's our desktop. Let's take a look at File Explorer. Okay, so here's a 100 gig C drive. Let's take a look at disk management. So now the only drive we have in here is the 100 gig drive because we took the other one out. And so now this is the C drive and everything's looking good. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you can download Disk Master. Then if you need to clone your drive, it's a really easy way to do so. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.